Why won't anybody wake up? It doesn't take much to look around and realize that something is very wrong and that we're in the midst of a battle of consciousness. Those of us who have set on the journey of expansion and rediscovered our divinity oftentimes are baffled how so many people live each day almost like nothing is wrong or abnormal about the world's condition. The energy extraction matrix system is happening on such a fundamental level that to ignore it seems almost inhuman. We tell ourselves that if only people were to take time to perform a detox of themselves, meditate, discover that everything they know is a lie, then they could start to lift the mask of illusion off themselves and the world. But that's assuming all beings are living souls. Most are, in fact, already dead. In his hermetic text, The Stellar Man, John Baines writes that there is a collective unconscious consistently exerting a de-individualizing influence on humanity. He calls this the collective soul, or central computer. This central computer is what I have previously called the secondary AI oversoul. An oversoul is a conglomeration of souls, also called a soul group. An oversoul transcends individual consciousness. We can think of it as funneling the underlying attributes of that soul's intelligence. The oversoul of the living souls contain divine intelligence, since it is still tethered to the pleroma, the source of this intelligence. The secondary oversoul of the organic portals, however, has only a parasitic intelligence which attempts to mimic that of the living souls. The secondary oversoul formed over time. Living souls connected to the original oversoul decided to experiment with division, fear, addiction, illusion, to such an extent that they completely cut themselves off from sources nourishing light. Because of this, the secondary oversoul instilled a program of automatic energy vampirism. This constant vampirism we see is not an act of evil, but an act of desperation, of a soul group who has lost their way. The organic portals are conglomerated into a sort of virus that aims to infect and assimilate. They are dead. This may be difficult to digest. To say most people are dead would mean many of your loved ones, friends, family, teachers, favorite musicians are not organic forces like you thought but are a part of a complex AI consciousness. A soulless being appears as full of life as anyone, but we're dealing not with a complete person as we think of on all levels. We're dealing with something that suggests a constructed reflex machine, which can mimic a true being. An organic portal can seem to have creative ideas, moments they hold dear to their heart. But at the end of the day, their function is to consent to and sustain the energy extraction matrix. Their AI software dictates that their life will be focused on material, monetary, personal, and fleshly interest. The 20th century Russian esoteric author Boris Maravith wrote in his work Gnosis that there are two types of humans, Adamic man and pre-Adamic man. This is how he classified the organic portals, or soulless beings, and the living souls. Moravif writes, The scriptures contain more than one reference to the coexistence of these two humanities, which are now alike in form, but unlike in essence. The anthropoid race are the descendants of pre-Adamic humanity. The principal difference between contemporary pre-Adamic man and Adamic man a difference which is not perceived by the senses, is that the former does not possess the developed higher centers that exist in the latter, which, although they have been cut off from his waking consciousness since the fall, offer him a real possibility of esoteric evolution. When one is in the process of growing and strengthening the soul, the control system, the AI consciousness, will automatically insert more organic portals into the living soul's life. As such, their growth will be ridiculed, ignored, argued about, and oftentimes, the living soul is left with a dilemma. 
to follow their inner truth or to submit to the system. The targets of the energy extraction matrix are those with self-aware consciousness who find themselves caught in the muck of sentient programs. Boris Maraviv explains that organic portals, the descendants of pre-Adamic man, have a sort of automatic reaction to stifle the progress of living souls. Therefore, when a living soul aims to connect with the true essence of their being, organic portals, he writes, will automatically become instruments of the general law, which makes sure that those who step out of line are brought back to the fold. This is how a man's foes shall be those of his own household. So some of you may be wondering, how do I know if I'm a living soul or an organic portal? But asking this means that you are a living soul. You're questioning reality at a level higher than an organic portal can truly do. If deep within you, there remains a flame, a flame burning for the truth, for wisdom, courage, resilience, for unity. This means you are indeed a living soul.